Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my favorite free AI video editing pieces of software that I use pretty much nearly every single day. And since I've been using them, they've been a game changer. And they've utilized, you could even say the push revolutionized how I approach video content, how I edit, how it's basically given me more time so I can use my content and push it more to social media in the form of short form content on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all of that sort of good stuff. So let's get straight on with it and I'll tell you about the three pieces of AI software. And all of them separately and sometimes used together are a game changer. What they are, is they're called Opus Clip, another one is called Autopod, and the third one is called Captions. AI is pretty much being introduced into every aspect of our life right now, whether it's in the digital space of videos, creating videos, editing videos, you know, taking pictures, making pictures, writing scripts, marketing, coding, anything sort of like that, it's being integrated. And there's no going away from it, it's coming and I don't think it's gonna go. So here, this is why I think these free tools are so important and they can really add a lot of more value to your workflow, a lot of more leverage to your skill set, and overall just make you a lot more of an efficient person when it comes to video editing, making video content as a whole, and it can add a lot more dynamic angles of how you can approach this and approach it as a business, as a freelancer, as a general content creator. The first AI tool that we're gonna be looking at is called Autopod. Now I cannot tell you how much I love this piece of software. I think it is amazing and I use it pretty much all the time, I love it. I use it a lot for creating short form content. So taking snippets from my long form content and repurposing them for short form content. And I've actually made a video separately about what Autopod is, but also how I make short form content using this, but also utilizing the AI captions that's built into Adobe Premiere Pro. And mentioning Adobe Premiere Pro, just so you know, this is a plugin, but it's only available at the minute for Premiere Pro. In the future, they may release it for Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, and maybe other things as well. But right now, it's only available for that. And what I love about this so much, it has free tools that are built into it and they're absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna tell you about each one. The first tool is called a multicam editor. And basically, if you are doing talking videos like this, but more specifically with more people, so, you know, basically like a podcast, if you have maybe three, four, two different camera angles, and you have different people speaking, instead of you sitting here for maybe a couple of hours, maybe longer, maybe a little bit less, cutting up the video into different frames when people are speaking and cutting it and just doing that in general, this tool will do all of this for you automatically and it will do it in real time and you can watch it as the video goes along the video timeline and you can just see it making the cuts changing and it's absolutely crazy and every time I have used it I've just not yeah, I can't get my head around it, but it is a game changer when it comes to editing. It does it in the space of minutes, depending how big the file is, if it's in 4K, HD, maybe higher resolution, but you get the gist and it's a game changer. So anyone who really does a lot of podcasts or a lot of podcast editing, this is amazing. And this can also be utilized in the space of saving you time. And as you save time, then with this, you can basically get other clients within the same day and edit more videos in the same day. So this is the first tool and I really love it. I can't recommend it enough. The second tool is called Social Clip Creator. Now this is what I use mostly with this software. I think it is absolutely fantastic. It saves me, I, I can't even tell you how much time it saves me. Before, back in my earlier days when I started doing video editing and repurposing content for clients or my own sort of content, it would take me forever to go from widescreen to portrait and it was tedious. And to be honest with you, it wasn't my favorite thing. But now this tool's come along and it's allowed me to speed up my workflow so much. Basically what it does, it allows you to take a snippet from your long form video and you can basically put an in and an out point and utilizing the in and the out point it will basically take that widescreen video and make it portrait. And it will do that in the form of using AI. It's, it's crazy and it does it so accurately. 99% of the time, I have to make next to no changes with it and I just can't recommend it enough. Then the third and final tool built into Autopod is called Jump Cut Editor. And basically what this does 
is say for example you have a raw clip and you're making a vlog or maybe even something like this or any other sort of content that has speaking in it where you're speaking and then you have the silences in between maybe where you're reading or you've messed up so you've got to start the clip again what the gym What the jump cut editor will do is where there's those awkward silences or those silences in general, where there's no speaking, it will cut and remove those from the clip. And what it will then do is bring all of the speaking parts together and you can then go through it. Now, I think this is again, really amazing, really say it just saves you so much time and I can't stress enough how much time is valuable when it comes to this. And as an overall package, having these three things built into Autopod, it's a game changer and it offers a lot of flexibility. And I think at the very least, it's something you should play around with, try and just see how you can integrate it into your workflow and how much time it saves you and how much it really, really just is a game changer. I can't speak highly enough of it. So that is Autopod for you though. The next piece of AI software is called Opus Clip. Now, when I first came across this, I actually thought it was fake. I saw this on social media, I checked it out and it was real. So let me tell you about it. What this basically does, it takes your long form video content from YouTube, for example, and you basically take the link of your video, you put it into their website, into their piece of AI software, the magic machine, whatever you'd like to call it. And what the AI will do is it will extract different snippets from your long form video and create its own short form videos. But it will also make its own captions, its own emojis. And what it will do is specifically with the captions and emojis, it utilizes, you could basically call it Alex Hormozy styled captions, where any sort of highlights or any important parts of the video or the text that need emphasis or a stronger point to be made, then it will highlight the text in a specific color, like a strong sort of green, a standout yellow. And it'll also utilize emojis at certain points of the video with the text to emphasize the point even more. And instead of having to go through this manually, you guessed it, the AI along with creating its own short form content from your long form video, it will create the captions and the emojis and highlight the text at those different points all automatically whilst also giving you a score roughly out of 100 telling you what the hook is why it's so good and yeah <laughs> it does it all automatically for you so to get the best results from this piece of software it recommends that you use videos that are similar like this talking videos talking to cameras doing anything like this or making podcast videos where it's talking directly to the camera where the ai can again give you the best results. If you are, for example, making videos that are like vlogs, maybe, you know, cat videos, dog videos, anything like that, then at the minute, that is not really gonna get you any results. So I wouldn't waste your time basically doing that. But again, try it if you'd like. And it also recommends that you use videos that are 15 minutes or longer. However, just as a disclaimer, I've actually used videos that are 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes, and I've also got good results. Once you've taken your video, you've put it in the link bar and the AI has done its magic and created the shorts, you can go through each short and you can basically manually edit it to an extent. You can change the color of the captions, you can change the actual font style of the captions as well. And you can also add in emojis. You can decide where you want the video to start and to end on the bits where the AI has actually chosen and put the video together, the, the different clips, basically. You also have the ability to reframe certain parts of the video. So for example, when I use a lot of screen recordings on some of my content and then you zoom in, you know, when the AI basically crops it, it gives you the manual control to then reframe it, zoom back out and make it how you like and reposition also the captions. And it just gives you a lot of flexibility compared to a lot of other AI sort of video editors out there where uh, at the minute it's quite restricted. This gives you a lot of flexibility and I'm also a fan of that. When you sign up, you get a free month for free trial. And for that, as far as I know, at the point of recording this video, you get two hours of usage for free. So for example, if you're using one of your videos from your channel, that is 20 minutes then theoretically that will take 20 minutes 
from your two hours and deduct it for the editing time to create the shorts. And once you've basically used all of that, you then buy additional credits that last the month. And I also think this is really great because it can save you money if you're paying a video editor to make shorts from your long form content. And, or if you maybe do it yourself like me as well, then again, putting the money towards that, it will save you time. And if you're paying a lot for a video editor, the AI can do it for you. And if it gives you good results, then it saves you money. And the money that you save, you can reinvest into your project, into your business, or however you see fit. But as an overall, I think it's amazing and I can't recommend it enough. So that's Opus Clip for you. So the third and final piece of AI software that I absolutely love, and I've only just recently discovered, is called Captions. And I think it's absolutely amazing. So let me tell you a little bit about it. I actually made a video about it previously, which again, you can go and watch down below. The link is down below in the video description, but let me tell you about it. It started off a couple of years ago as an app for iOS, so for iPhones, and it started off as a video editing app which utilizes AI in the sense of using AI to create your captions. It also uses AI to sort of make your eyes the whole time look as if you are looking directly at the camera. So if you're filming on your phone, for example, so people who film a lot for maybe TikTok, Instagram, stuff like that, YouTube shorts, they will maybe have a script here, but they're talking to the camera here. So their eyes looking over this way or that way and not looking directly at the viewer can be really distracting because it's a very close up intimate sort of space when you're talking to a viewer anyway. And as people have a scrolling behavior, you know, you only have maybe half a second to grab their attention. So seeing this, it really made me intrigued and very interested to find out more about it. So on their Discord channel super recently, I saw they released an update to their website where they released three pieces of AI software tools that are available for people who make videos on computers, on laptops, on a Mac for people basically like me. I just thought it was incredible. It got me really excited. And that's why I made the last video reviewing the software. And if you've watched that video, you know how much I love it and what it is. So let me tell you about the pieces of software very quickly. So the first tool that they released is an online video compressor. So if you have a big video file and you need to compress it really quickly, if you use something like Premiere Pro, then you can obviously do it on that. But if you don't have access to that and you create most of the content on your phone or you just want to, for whatever reason, use an online video compressor really quickly to get it down to a certain size, then this bit of software is incredible. It's easy to use, super, super efficient. It's just really easy to use and it's really nice to navigate through. And as you go through it, you have all the different options of what you want the video to be like, the file size, the quality of it, how you want it to basically be and it just offers it in such a nice package and it's free so yeah this is why i use it and i think really it just offers a lot of creators that extra bit of flexibility when it just allows them to quickly take their content resize it you know shrink it down and then put it out on social media and it's really fast and efficient because it's not a big video file size. The second tool, which I think is absolutely incredible, to, again, to say it's free, is the AI eye tracker. And what I just basically said earlier, just to reiterate it, if you are reading off your phone and you're talking to the camera, but you have a script here, like I said before, this software makes your eyes look as if you're looking at the camera the whole time. So it basically hides from the viewer the fact that you are reading from a script. So instead it just looks more engaging and it just really makes that difference. And this is, I would say a big reason as to why a lot of people just scroll on past because their eyes are everywhere. So the fact that this software keeps you as if you are engaged with the viewer the whole time, looking directly at the camera, you basically upload the video, you have a before and you have an after window and you can see the before bit. So that's your raw footage. That's how it looks like. You press the magical button, you wait for the AI to do its thing, and then you can look after. And the finished result, you can bounce between the before and after, and you can see the difference, and it's incredible. It really is. And if you wanna know how this actually looks, then I recommend you watch it in my full video review. Again, the link's down below. And just a little bit of advice to get the best results from the AI eye tracker, when you are filming on your phone, try and keep yourself centered. You know, if your eyes looking at the middle of the screen, you can have the bars going across so you can just line everything up. But I say do that because it basically gives you the best results. So as your eyes are being analyzed by the AI, once it's finished doing its thing, its magic sort of stuff, 
it will make it as if your eyes are consistent. And the key bit with this is the consistency to get the best results. So you're looking down the middle of the camera, it just makes it look so much better, realistic, and connects better with the viewer. So that's my little bit of advice quickly. Now, the third and final one is the AI subtitles slash captions, which again, it allows you to make automatic captions on your video, simply by uploading the video to their website, and the AI will work its magic again, and it's just incredible. And I think actually out of all of the sort of AI software that I've used that creates captions automatically from your voice, this has given me the most accurate results that I really trust and don't really have an issue with looking at and having to go back over it and think, oh, this didn't work out or oh this or oh that. So I think this also is it's incredible. And again, it's free. Again, I know I keep repeating this, but I cannot stress this enough. The point of recording this video, it is free. So let me tell you about it quickly. So similar to the other two tools, you basically get your video, you upload it, you have a before section where, you know, it's just your raw video, you press the magic button for the AI to analyze your video to create the captions. Once it's finished doing that, loading, you're good to go and you can see what it's created. But there's also one drawback at the minute that I need to make you aware of. Utilizing this tool and using it, even though I believe it gives you the best results and consistency of creating the captions, it does not give you the ability to edit the captions at the minute at the point of recording this. However, they're aware of this and in their Discord channel, uh, they are already working on updates so you can actually make edits to any spelling mistakes and you can also make any changes to the type of font that you want to use. So basically, yeah, it's just being updated. And at the minute though, to say this is free, even though that's a little bit of a drawback, I believe the AI is that good enough that it gives you the best results. You don't need to make any changes. And again, that's what I think. And that's from me testing it, but that's what I really truly believe it gives the best results at the minute for consistency. Also, when you speak, make sure to speak clearly, concise, pronounce your words, because again, the AI will have an easier time of analyzing this and giving you the best results. And after you've basically done all of that, you just press download and you're good to go. That's your video with captions. And if you do this as a three-step process, first off, if you have a video file size that's too big, you know, shrink it down, make it whatever size you want it to be. Then I would say, secondly, do the AI tracking with your eyes. And then after you've done that, then get the video upload it again, get the captions, and then you've got a full video that is ready to go to any social media channel that you use. And it's done that easily, and it's as simple as you pressing a button, and that is it. A couple of buttons and you're good to go. There's no heavy editing. The AI takes care of 99% of the work, which is incredible, and it just gives unbelievable results. And I think this company, like the other two that I've mentioned with all of its software, has a massive future ahead of it. They're super ambitious with the plans, what they're releasing on their Discord channel. And I just think this is something you should be aware of. And I think captions, it offers amazing value. And to say this is free, it is incredible. It is genuinely incredible. So just as we end the video now, I just wanna say again, the free companies, the free piece of AI software that are created by the companies are incredible. And I just can't say to them individually enough how amazing they are. And I think all three of them have amazing, amazing potential. And I think just going forward, they are gonna be even more popular. And when you go and check them out, also make sure to join their Discord channels because the Discord channels are a massive way of how they communicate with the whole community as a whole. You'll be the first person to find out about their latest updates. You can also basically give them feedback about what you think is good, what you think is bad, what could be improved. And they really, really use and interact with the community. And I really love that aspect because they are driven by the community. Because at the end of the day, they're making the tools for you guys, you know, for everyone, me to use and everyone else that uses them. So I really love that aspect that they listen they grow and they bring in new tools, new updates that people have asked for. And also though, if you think I've missed any piece of AI video editing software, AI video creation software that I don't know about or I haven't mentioned, then please let me know about them. Comment down below what they are, put the links in there, anything to draw my attention to them because I love pieces of software like this and I really wanna know about it. So I really hope you found this video helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
Again, let me know the results that you get using the piece of software mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.